a trending topic and it's a very serious topic. I've spoken a lot about it on my page throughout the years uh, because I have gone through spiritual psychosis twice. And since I started working with Kate um, about two and a half years ago or so, we have developed lots of techniques to keep you sane while you do the work that you do. Developing techniques like activating your divine grounding straps. Um, developing techniques of like cleaning out your mental space room. Things that keep you sane and empowered. In fact, I have a series from 2020 of where I started to enter spiritual psychosis again, and we were able to heal it within the night. And if Kate wasn't there and those techniques didn't exist, uh, I might not have been in such good shape. My page doesn't just spread awareness. It gives you tips and tools to help you on your journey and put you back in the driver's seat of your life. Here's the 2020 series. I went through a little bit of a psychotic breakdown last night. Um, and it brought me to the realization this morning that I should talk to you guys a little bit about why awakening all at once might be too much for some, not all. Some people awaken really, really quickly. So this isn't a, a saying that the formula is true for everybody. Okay. Just want to put that out there too. So I know, and most of you know by now that I feel more than see or hear, um, and I do have a, a very clear, clear um, cognizance, like I just know certain things, but I wanted to see, I wanted to see like how my friends see, like right in front of them or off the back of their head is how Ashley puts it, but Kate sees right in front as well. Carolina and Nicole, like just so many people see, I wanted to see. If you look at my higher self or my seraphim self on the 24th dimension, I'm covering my eyes. Like I'm constantly covering my eyes. And even when Carolina was first helping me with this eye thing, she's like, Kat, you are the one holding yourself back. And, um, like Ashley star, Ashley and like Captain Kate, Kate, they were, they're like, every time we talk to our guides, they say, you can see, you see so well. And even when Nicole was helping me with, um, getting eyes for my behemoth and they were like all over me. And I, I talked to Ash about it and she was like, they're saying, once you see, it's going to be overwhelming. And I had heard that from people before. Like it's a little overwhelming because like you might see stuff right in front of you. And I was like, okay, well, I can handle it. I'm ready. Like, I'm, I'm ready. Let me see. I had pretty much come to the conclusion that maybe I don't see just so I could be a teacher, just so I could train, just so I can help others process energy. Because if you're someone who doesn't see, if you're someone who feels, working with someone like me helps you to process and understand the way you process energy. Um, and I was like, maybe it's because of that. And then I was like, maybe it's because the things that are like the gross things or whatever, maybe I wasn't supposed to see that because it would freak me out. It wouldn't freak me out. And it has been helpful to be able to help people understand how to process energy. I am grateful for that. But last night, I realized that my forehead gets really, 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 really cold when information is coming in. And I was like, I think I have a block of ice. Maybe that's what's covering my eyes. And I asked... Um, I asked Ashley to burn it, but she would like burn it with dragon's breath, but she was um, doing a TikTok live. So Kate burnt it for me, burnt the ice. The combination of things that happened last night, I watched this insane, like the craziest movie I've ever watched in my life. And I've watched some crazy ones. The sun was going down and it was getting dark and there were no other lights on in the house. My uh, two-year-old had, like, destroyed the toys and stuff all over the place, like, even pulling, like, cushions and pillows down. Um, I had dishes that needed to be done. So, like, everything was a little bit really skewed. My mind was melting. Kate um, burnt these this ice off of me. And I have eyes all over space and time. It's one of my things. It's to help others see. And all of a sudden I started seeing out of all of them at once and it was worse than the Truman show and everything felt like paper thin and I went 
crazy. Like I, it wasn't good. It wasn't good. When everything hit me like this, it was so intense that I started to go really dark. Like my brain was melting. Seeing everything the way it is, is not like just seeing the truth. It's seeing that all the angles at once, please don't. It's seeing all the angles at once. It's seeing th through everything. It's seeing the falsity of everything. It's seeing the fakeness of your own reality. It's seeing beyond the matrix. It's seeing beyond the video game. It's seeing beyond the coding. It was too much too fast, too much too fast. So all of you that the reason I'm making this series is we want to do like, we want to do what they do and I want to do what they do and I want to do what they do. Yeah. There is a reason why it goes in layers. If it all happened at once, you would go insane and it would be extremely harmful for your human existence. That's also to let you know that if stuff is coming at you way too fast, it might be a time to ground yourself into your human reality existence. Spirit, please anchor my light body all the way up and back in. Please ground me. Put like put some grounding meditation on. Talk to a friend. Reach out to someone. Don't do it alone. I have kids. I can't. I can't. I mean, like, I know I talk about stuff that's a lot off the deep end, but I have a healthy balance of being human, being a mom, um, working my job, cooking, cleaning, being human is a beautiful gift. And yes, the rest of the stuff is important, but it comes in layers for a reason. And if it's coming too fast and you're starting to feel like you're going crazy, it might be time to step back for a minute ground yourself in reality. To close on that, um, my page also goes into a lot of topics that are not spoken about in books and um, there are a lot of conspiracy theories on. Um, myself and Kate have developed a lot of healings to help. How to help protect your energy and keep you grounded while doing it. Also, how to check if these conspiracy theories are true or false, how to heal what you can, uh, heal impactively on a global scale or for yourself in a very safe way. This is a simple technique that came up in my tarot reading for today to help people ground and connect them to their true divine source. This is why I have so many free healings in my link tree and I've organized them to make it easy for you to find. It's a way to stay safe. Also, myself and Kate, we host very affordable weekly Zoom classes and pre-recorded classes about using discernment and healing safely. Do you guys remember the other day that I posted the video where Kate and I both like show you how we walk through and make a healing? Wait, hold on, this one? Your clay mask and my bippity boppity boo. So yeah, uh, can we make it into just the acne healing? Yeah. Okay. That's how to like mash it together. Uh, I just copy paste things. I stack it like folders in the computer. Kate, I well, yeah, the whole thing's uploaded on YouTube now. Cat and Kate live January 28th, 22 with special guest Turtle Cat Medium. And yep, that's Cat and Boots 138 over on YouTube. There's a, uh, there's a quick link in my link tree. Okay, bye.